When I was in my early 20s, I played a lot of PS2. It was the first console that I owned in that I wasn't a generation behind, being that I bought it right when I got back from basic training in the army, so I had money to burn. When I was deployed a few years later, I spent a bit of my cash on PS2 games in the local PX, one of which being the game that I'm reviewing today, NBA Street Volume 2. I really enjoyed the original NBA Street, so does the sequel improve on things any? Oh yeah. If you're looking for a realistic basketball simulation, you won't find it here. NBA Street is exactly that. 3 vs 3 action, playing outside of big crowd arenas, trading the noise for backyard fun. It's less about scoring points and more about pulling off a show for the gathering viewers. Alright, technically, you still need to score baskets to win, 21 to be exact, but schoolyard rules are in effect. Normal shots are 1 point and long range swishes are 2. Big time dunks are here allowing you to score in style. But what separates NBA Street from other basketball games are the ability to perform stylistic moves, increasing your flash score and building up to something called a game breaker. By holding any combination of the shoulder buttons and pressing square, you will perform a trick. The difficulty of the trick dependent on how many shoulder buttons are pressed along with the player's handles rating. Successfully pulling off these moves will fake out your opponents, allowing you to sneak by for the easy score. Of course, pulling off these tricks may be crowd pleasing, but it's risky too. Your opponents may be faked out one time, but the next, they might yank the ball right from your grasp. In addition, you may want to hold off on doing tricks, as it does pull from your turbo meter. Trying a high tiered trick may look fancy, but if it doesn't work, you won't have anything left to pull off a dunk, or even worse, if your opponent steals the ball, you won't be able to catch up to them. You can also use this boost to attempt a better steal if an opponent is using a trick of their own or to leap high for a shot interception instead of just batting the ball away. These tricks are pretty cool, and if you can chain them together, you'll increase the game breaker gauge at the top of the screen. Unlike the first game, here there are two levels of game breaker. For the first time you fill up the gauge, you can opt to dunk it or shoot it. Nailing a game breaker gives you points, but also subtracts points away from the opponent, possibly evening things out or making it even more of a one-sided beatdown. However, if you'd like, you can pocket the game breaker, opting to use it for later. By filling up the gauge one more time, you can then perform a level 2 game breaker. This shot is played out in cutscene form, and as such, it's completely unblockable and hits all the time. Obviously, if you think you can handle filling the gauges, this is the one you're going to want to go for. I will warn you though that you can't just do a full court shot with a game breaker. It'll be treated as a normal shot with the perks of the game breaker if it does go in, which it probably won't, let's face it. The best way to build your game breaker gauge? Level 4 tricks, dunks in which you bank the ball off of the backboard first, and alley-oops. Passing the ball to yourself by bonking it off of your opponent helps too. But again, these are inherently more difficult to pull off, as you can fumble the ball or have it stolen while you are trying to appease the local fans. There are two main modes of play in NBA Street 2, NBA Challenge and Be a Legend. In NBA Challenge, you take a team and just attempt to beat every other pro team in various regions. In Be a Legend, you create a street player and watch them go from rags to riches, starting off as a humble dude that can barely hold the ball to someone that can showboat with the best of them. This takes place in six different cities, New York, Philadelphia, Oakland, Los Angeles, Seattle, and Chicago. Most of the action takes place in New York, and you can decide in which city you'd like to play. Areas are locked out at first until you earn reputation points, which you can gain by winning matches. In addition to these, playing games knits you upgrade points, used to increase your stats in multiple categories. You can also unlock further tricks and dunks, although personally, I feel that your stats are the smarter way to spend the points. As you play in this mode, not only will you compete in normal 21 point games, but you'll also enter tournaments. After you win these, you can play a challenge on that court. These range from competitions in which you play with normal NBA scoring, a race to see who can score 250,000 trick points first, to even a battle against standard NBA teams. These are fun diversions from the standard games that you'll be playing in. And really, that sums up NBA Street 2. It's just a blast to play. Pulling off tricks, laughing at your opponent when you steal the ball from one of their fancy moves, beating down the local talent and recruiting them to your team. NBA Street 2 is just a solid, arcade-style basketball game. There is one complaint that I have, though, and most people are probably going to find it pretty minor. The announcer. 
I just find his commentary grating. He is constantly comparing things to food, and often it makes absolutely no sense. For example, he'll just randomly start talking about ice cream. I wanted to mute it badly, but I didn't just so I could let you hear it for yourself to see what you think. And I don't know if it's a bug or I'm missing something, but I was unable to reach the final challenge in Be A Legend mode. I've only lost about 3 matches, but I can't get any additional reputation points to get to the final game at Rucker Park. Again, maybe I'm missing something, but oh well. NBA Street Volume 2 is truly an enjoyable game for any fan of the sport. Smooth, solid gameplay, not unlike the old school NBA Jam games. A respectable creation tool, a somewhat short but satisfying career mode. There's not much to dislike here, except for maybe the announcer, but he can be muted so it's all good. If you still have a PS2 hooked up and are a fan of basketball, this is a game that should be added to your collection. Final score? 7 out of 7. This is Reaper. Happy fragging.